Hi, Pam Kinneberg here with FacePaint.com. Today I'm going to teach you a um, sonic eye for all the boys and girls who really love this design. So let's get started. I'm going to use a craze petal sponge to put a little white around the eyelid area and make it larger, a little larger than the eyelid um, because we're um, exaggerating um, the size of that eye. Then I'm going to take a Silly Farm Little Drop brush, it's a little filbert, and just do a little teardrop over there for the other eye. This is a really exaggerated angle that we're doing here for Sonic. Um, use the Craze Beige um, to create the mouth area where that um, his bottom jaw is. And then I switch to Craze Royal Blue. I'm using the same um, Silly Farm Little Drop Brush. And I'm going to first sort of outline the shapes that I've gotten on there to give myself a border. And then I'm going to draw in where the ears go. <clears throat> and you see you kind of draw as a diagonal up from the corner of the eye to where that second ear goes and draw that quite a bit larger than that first little tiny ear. It's a, <clears throat> it's a side view. And then just uh, paint in those three spikes that he has on his head. And the last final one, just kind of cur keep curving this around as if it was headed toward that center focal point. And the space is going to vary here depending on your child, wherever their hairline is. So you'll have to adjust um, those little spikes accordingly. You can take a sponge to tap out the blue if it's a little uneven. So if you notice, I have all of the elements on here are pointed to that center focal point. They're going in a circle. And if they were to continue around, they'd all go to that center focal point. So really think about that when you're um, painting this, that it is that circular shape. Um, don't have those spikes pointing down towards the chin. Then I'm going to take the craze yellow and we're going to paint and, um, some yellow on there with the craze number two round brush. Just to add some color in there. First of all, of course, in the ear, we're going to do the yellow. But I'm also going to do yellow underneath each of the little um, spikes on his hair, just to add that color in there and give it some pizzazz, kind of a little triangle behind the ear there. And then right on the eyelid. And I'm going to continue, have continuous lines, like a little line following that focal point movement in towards the center. Sort of like you're creating a, that circle. Now with the black and the same um, number two round brush, I'm going to do the outlining. Thick to thins um, and then leave a little space in between certain lines just for the white space to uh, move on in. And in a point and then the oval nose goes right there and again this will be a little bit further down from their eye than you can do on a practice board so um, you'll have to judge the amount of space that you'll need for that in real life Just keep going. These little spikes overlap, so don't um, so don't go up to a point on the inside there. Just um, have one stroke leading up, and the other one comes out a little bit further down. Then I'm going to add a little bit of black in there just to um, accentuate those um, shaded areas that would be behind the ears or behind um, the spikes in his hair or at the bottom. 
Now I'll add some white highlights with Craze White, using again the same brush, and just wherever the light would hit it if the light was coming from above. Real quick, easy to put these in really fast, but it adds so much nice contrast to do that. It just brings this design to life. And there's his highlights, and um, <clears throat> now I'm going to add some lines that resemble sort of like lightning, um, sonic okay, it runs or goes at lightning speed, so we're going to add those little kind of squiggly lines, like lightning bolts. Again, moving in towards that center focal point. There's those. Finally, the last thing, if you want, you can add some chunky glitter to this. I'm using the Glitz Glitter Glue and Lava Pool by Vivid, and I'm just going to paint in there with the glue where the Where it will go. I tap a little sponge on the glue so I pick up some glue so that I can pick up some of that loose chunky glitter from the container. And then I can place it really wherever I want to. And that just gives it an extra boost of color. He's going at lightning speed. It <laughs>